so good morning to all of you today we are, we are going to see the uh, some problems on numericals regarding this pressure measurement and you will go uh, to the some concept which were we have already left in our classes regarding this hydrostatic pressure measurement so this is one numerical you see it is asking to find out the pressure difference between point m and n for this manometer as shown in figure in centimeter of in centimeter of oil okay so you have to find out the pressure so already i told you um, before going to uh, find out the pressure difference in between the point you have to choose the datum so this one we have to choose as, choose as the datum line as uh, what will happen as above this one this is point x and this is a y so as the you see above all are all have to have same specific gravity just have to choose this one as the, uh, our uh, datum point so now we have to write down this manometric so we have to write down this uh, manometric equilibrium equation so we have to write down this uh, manometric uh, manometric manometric equilibrium this equation so we will write down this equation so if we start about this is px pressure at this point x will be equal to pressure at this point y okay so what the pressure at this point is you see the right uh, left part the so starting from this point m pm minus as you are going up the uh, pressure will decreases so this is water is there density of the water into z into this height what is the height is 6 plus 3 this is 9 cm so you have to this one 9 by 100 Okay, we reach this point. Okay, now you have to write from this y. So this is P n. We starting from this point n minus the water is there. So this is density of the water into g into this height is how much? Twelve plus six eighteen. So this is you can write this is zero point one eight. Okay, minus a mercury that is a uh, oil is there. So density of the oil. Into g into height of the oil. How much that is? Zero point zero three. Okay. So you put all these values. Okay. If you put all these values, you will get this uh, p m n minus p n. This is p m minus asking in the form difference in between m and n. So you will get this one is minus one one two seven point Seven four Pascal. So this is the pressure you will get. Okay. So this is the pressure you will get. So uh, if it is asking uh, for this one, uh, what is the equivalent height of the oil? Okay. What is the equivalent height of the oil is asking. So we have to find out in the equivalent height of the oil form. So how you will find out? Already I told you in the classes that how to find out this one in oil format. So we already have to find out the the one I am telling. So already you find out the uh, this is P M. This is P M. Okay. So this is uh, already you find out. This is P M minus P N will be equal to minus one one. Two seven point seven four Pascal. So it is asking the for equivalent height of the oil. So I already told you you have to divide it by density uh, change in uh, this is change in pressure difference divided density of the oil into g. So if you do this one, this is minus one one point two seven into seven four divided by density of the oil. Already it is relative density is given point eight three, so do you see that relative density is given point eight three, so this is eight hundred thirty into nine point eight one. This is eight one. So already we know so how to find out the density because specific gravity will be equal to density of the oil by density of the water. So density of the oil you can find out right now. So if you do this one enter calculation, this height of the oil is come out to be. Minus thirteen point eight four centimeters. This is 
you are uh, you are going to find out this value and if you uh, see the option this this is correct option option b option b is the correct so uh, thank you so next we are going to see next next problem that is uh, it is it is asking what is the gauge pressure that is the gauge pressure at point p that is the gauge pressure at point p in terms of oil of column okay so it is this point p okay it is asking this this point is p okay it is to uh, it is asking to find out what is the gauge pressure at point p in terms of oil of column so uh, write down the numerical in your copy and try to solve it down so you see so here you have to choose this one is a datum so this one is a datum the okay this one is datum you have to write because see above this one same fluid and below this one same fluid will be there. this is x and this is y and uh, <coughs> so you have to choose this one as one point so this is one point this is second point this is third point so this suppose this is I am choosing this is a uh, P and this is Q and this is R this point. So I can write pressure at point P will be Q in the other so I can write the equal manometric equilibrium equations. So this manometric equilibrium equation I can write it down as so this P X will be equal to this is P Y. Okay, I'm starting from this point P. Okay, I'm starting from this point P. So this is a uh, pressure at point P. Okay, pressure at point P minus you are going up. So this is density of the oil into Z into this height of the oil. Height of the oil is sixty centimeter. Okay, sixty centimeter. This is zero point six. Okay, you reach that point. Okay, so now will be equal to that is atmospheric pressure is acting here. So as it is asking gauge pressure, the atmospheric pressure will be zero. So zero plus this is ten centimeter. Okay. So this is uh, which one? This is density of the mercury. Density of the mercury into g into point one. Okay. So if you do this one, the pressure at point P, it is uh, coming out to be this is uh, thirteen thousand uh, thousand six hundred into this nine point eight one. Into this point one zero, okay. Plus density of the oil. This is this one. Find this is eight fifty, okay. Eight fifty into this is nine point eight one into this is zero point six zero. So they are trying to find out this pressure at point P. You, I think you will get it. One eight three four. Four seven Pascal. You will get the pressure at this point. P will be this much. But it is asking. Uh, it is asking this one. What is the equivalent height of this oil? So it is asking the form equivalent height of the oil. So pressure at point P will divided by density of the oil into G. Okay, density of the oil into G. So if you do this one. So if you do this one, I think uh, that this uh, height of the oil will be equal to pressure. What is the pressure already we got? This is one eight three one eight three. Uh, this is double four seven into density of the oil is eight fifty into this is nine point eight one. If you do this one, you will get is this is two point two meters of oil. This is your answer. So, if you go to the uh, uh, our numerical, so the answer will be this is option number option number D. Option number D is the correct correct answer. Okay. Now you see the second. Okay. Now you see the uh, second second one is second problem. So. The total pressure hydrostatic force in a circular plate of two meter diameter immersed horizontally in water at a depth of how much? One meter. 
so it is asking to find out the hydrostatic force okay hydrostatic force in a circular plate which is horizontally immersed okay which is horizontally immersed so it is actually so if you see okay so this is so we are going to see that so it is similar to this is the free surface okay this is here a free surface so this is your free surface what else so here horizontally here actually must one circular plate if you see the top view this is looks like this one this is looks like this one okay this is center okay and uh, uh, it is it is saying this what is the depth the depth is the depth is uh, i think diameter is 2 meter so this diameter is this is uh, 2 meter and immerse horizontally at a depth of 1 meter so this is at a depth of this is, there is a small thickness so this is 1 meter so it is uh, calculating uh, the pressure distribution of on this one will be a uniformly distributed load so this is a uniformly distributed load and uh, the hydrostatic pressure will act and from this point this is hydrostatic force, uh, or pressure force so it is asking you what is the hydrostatic force so already we know this hydrostatic force will be equal to rho g h bar into a okay rho g h bar so what is the h bar h bar will be equal to same already we heard about this h bar will be equal to same this is 1 meter okay and uh, this a will be equal to how much this is pi by 4 into d square into d square so this is pi by 4 into this is 2 square okay so if you want to find out now hydrostatic force this is the density of the water water is there so density of the water is 1000 1000 kg per meter cube this is kg per uh, meter cube into z is 9.8 watt this is meter per second square and this is h bar is 1 meter okay and this is pi by 4 into 2 square so if you calculate this one coming out to be 30.81 kilo newton force this is the magnitude of the hydrostatic force okay so you go to the uh, problem this is my problem so you see here the, the correct Approximate and the option will be this is option D 30.8. Next, next problem is this one question number 9. Okay, question number 9. You see a vertical plane of metal gate size, a vertical plate of metal uh, gate size. Okay, and uh, it is actually 3 into 3 meter holds water on uh, one side of it. To its top, the moment hydrostatic thrust on gate about the top edge. Okay, it is asking about the top edge. So try to find out. So suppose this is the numerical will solve like this. Give a time. So this is your uh, water. Okay, this is a water. And uh, a vertical plane metal gate size is holds water on it one one side up to its top. So this is my gate metal gate like that one. Okay, like that one. Okay, and this water is there one from the side. Okay, and the moment hydrostatic force on the gate about the top edge is about the top edge about the top. So the hydrostatic force is acting like this. That is the pressure distribution. Okay, this is the your this is your pressure distribution curve. Okay, in this hydrostatic pressure distribution curve. This is at somewhere it will the hydrostatic force is at like this. This is hydrostatic force and which is the resistance of H by three. So this is the depth of the water H. Okay, so we have to calculate this moment. So moment is the moment about this top edge. Suppose this is point T. Uh, so moment about this point T will be this hydrostatic force into 
this perpendicular distance this perpendicular distance okay so this perpendicular distance will be how much this perpendicular distance you have to find out is that is nothing but the center of pressure so this is h bar okay that is center of pressure okay so now we have to find out the hydrostatic force magnitude so hydrostatic force magnitude same rho g h bar into a so what is rho rho already know this is 1000 water is there and this 9.81 and the area so area is how much 303 meter okay so this is area is p into 3 because this is on, on this particular area the force is acting so this is 3 into 3 into h bar h bar is how much 3 by 2 because the uh, centroid will be at, at this point the centroid so this will be how much 3 by 2 if you do this one hydrostatic force coming out to be 135 kilometer this is the hydrostatic force you are coming but you have to find out this moment about the stop edge okay the moment about the stop edge will be equal to how much this hydrostatic force into the center of the circle this distance so this is how much 2h by 3 only so this is multiply with 2h by 3 so this is 135 into 2 times h by 3 so this is coming out the moment about of the flow of it will come out to be 270 kilo newton into meter this is zero so the correct the correct answer will be the correct answer will be uh, this is the 270 okay so you see the next problem next problem you see So a rectangular plate of 0.7 meter and 2.4 meter immersed in liquid mass density is 850 with its sides 0.75 side horizontal and just at the liquid surface. In the plane of the plate makes an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. The pressure force or a hydrostatic force on one side of the plate is equal to center of pressure. Okay, so to find out the hydrostatic force and everything. So so this is uh, it is asking about this hydrostatic force. So so this is uh, the plate and this is my water surface. Okay. So this is my water surface and this support this plate is like this. Okay. This is uh, like this. The plate is this my uh, plate and which is you have an inclination of theta. This is the inclination of theta, and the here is water is there. Okay, and this uh, it is given the density. The density of this liquid is given 850 kg per meter cube, and this side, okay, this side is given as how much? Side is given at two point four meter. Okay, the side is given as this is this this one. Sorry, this one is given as two point four meter, and this one is given as zero point seven five meter. So it is asking to find out the pressure distribution on this one, how it will look like. The pressure distribution will be on this one. So this is the pressure is perpendicular to the contact surface. So this is my pressure distribution on this one. So now if you find out the hydrostatic force, this is my hydrostatic force. Okay, this is my this is my hydrostatic force this one so this one is my hydrostatic force this is my hydrostatic force so to find out this hydrostatic force on it so how to find out you already know this one is uh, this hydrostatic force will be equal to 
this row c into h bar into a okay and uh, you have to find out this h bar okay so you have to find out this h bar will be equal to how much already know this y bar into sin theta what is y bar y bar is 2.4 half this is 1.2 into sin theta is given here or uh, theta is given as 60 degree if theta is given as 60 degree so this is sin 60 degree okay this is h bar so this hydrostatic force coming out to be density is uh, this is 850 and this is 9.81 and this is 1.2 sin 60 degree multiplied with area area is how much b into l this is 2.4 and actually this one this this one is given 0.75 okay, this uh, plate will be like this this is the plate and this one and this like this so this is 2.4 meter and this one is how much 0.75 meter so this is the area so this area is 2.4 0.75. So if you do this one, the electric force is coming out to be 15.59 uh, kN. This is the hydrostatic force. One and it is asking for to calculate the center of pressure. Okay, suppose this is the point. This is the point. So the center of pressure will be which one? That is this is the point. So, so the center of pressure will be the center of pressure will be this one. So this this is the point. This is the point. So this is the point. Okay. The center of pressure will be this one. This is you have to find out this distance. Okay. So this is how much? This is H star or what we are calling it. This is H bar or this is H star or A C. So you have to find out that one. So <coughs> so this is so the plate is like this. So this is this is the plate. And hydrostatic force is acting on this to find out this uh, this distance. This is AC, is this point. Okay, so ACB already I told you one shortcut to find out. So the hydrostatic pressure distribution will be like this. Okay, this is my total distribution curve. Okay, so to do this one. So and the pressure distribution is acting like this. Okay. So the center of pressure of this pressure distribution curve will be at a distance of this one. This is L by 3. Okay. So this is L by 3 and this is 2L by 3. But this is my three surface, so this is my three surface. So to measure this distance and this angle is given theta. So this this distance we can measure. This is 2L by 3, so this will be 2L by 3 sin theta. This is 2L by 3 sin theta. So this SCP or center of pressure will be equal to this, this distance already we know. This is 2L by 3 and this angle is known. So you have to find out this vertical distance. So this is 2L by 3 into sin 60 degree. So this is 2 into 2.4 by 3 into sin 60 degree. If you do this one, you are going to find out this. So that this is 1.39. This is a center of this. Center of this. Or also you can use the formula. This y c p will be equal to y bar plus i c g by a y bar into sin square theta. So in order to avoid this formula, you can use this uh, one as a because already I told you that the, the, the centroid of the pressure distribution curve is also called the 
center of pressure. So if you're going to our uh, problem, this is our problem. So this is this is my problem. So the answer will be the answer will be one point three nine, and this must be option number eight. So this is uh, everything about we already talked about this one. So in the next coming classes, I will start the uh, chapter. I will solve some numericals on the chord circle. Then I will uh, start the new chapter is called the bions, the bions and metacentric. So thank you. Have a good day.